Hey guys, it's me. Um, I decided to do the what lip products do I have in my purse? And I'm not sure if that's really what it's called, but that's what I'm calling it. Tag. Um, Vicki had done it and I thought it sounded like a fun one. So I wanted to show you what I currently have in my purse. And I didn't add any or subtract any. It's just what is in there. And my bag is my... Um, my Christmas present, my Louis Vuitton that my husband bought for me. And I had mentioned in a previous video that I had gotten this and I wasn't sure if I wanted to show it because I didn't want a lot of thumbs down and hater comments. But this is my first brand new Louis Vuitton. I purchased a couple of used ones off of eBay in the past, but this is my first brand new one. And <clears throat> This is the card that I got from the Louis Vuitton at the Fashion Show Mall. And then I went over to the store at the City Center because I wanted to see what other bags they might have in the, in the price range that I was looking for. And so this is the uh, name of the bag. And I'm not even going to attempt to try it because I do not... I speak French well. So I just picked, they had it at um, the city center of Louis Vuitton and so I decided to just get it there instead of going back over to Fashion Show Mall and having to park and so I just picked it up <clears throat> and I want to thank my husband so much for my lovely bag. I love it and I'll be carrying it for years and someday I might get another new one but for now I'm thrilled with my Louie. So let's see what I have in here. It does have one pocket right here. It has a pocket right here. And in there I usually keep um, gum or my mints, a pen, and some lip products. So let's see what, what do I have. Okay, I have a Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in Honey. And I think this is my favorite color out of all of them. For me, it's the most wearable. And I know that you guys have seen these all before, but I really like the honey shade. So that's number one. Number two is Maybelline Color Sensational. And this is the new shade. I've been wearing this one a lot. 430 Magnificent Mauve. And I showed this in a haul. Oh, I just got a text. Um, from my daughter. Her husband is coming back from Kuwait. And hopefully, she says, hoping for Sunday, but probably Monday or Tuesday is when he will be returning stateside. So... This is Magnificent Mauve right there, next to the Honey. And I love this lipstick. I love the texture. I love the color. It's um, just a great lipstick for me. Can't say for anyone else. I have these two lip liner pencils. This one is almost impossible to read. It's a CoverGirl Outlast Smooth Wear in, oh good lord, they have silver print on a gray background. I don't know that I can even read this. Well, it's this color, whatever it is. Sometimes I remember to put these on, but it's not a daily thing for me. And I will just put this one right there. It's a nice nude with a little bit of um, maybe a rosy tone, a mauve tone to it. And this one is much easier to read. This is Rimmel Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in 063 East End Snob. And of course, Rimmel is from London, England, so they have reference to 
references to London in their names, and that is the one on top. Are we supposed to swatch these? I don't know. I'm gonna. What else do I have? Then I have this little um, makeup bag, and I've got my color stay. Oh, I have another lip liner. I think this is Victoria's Secret, and it needs to be sharpened, if I'm not mistaken. Victoria's Secret um, liner, lip liner in nude. And yeah, that needs to be sharpened. But let's see if we can get a swatchy swatch here. And that's the one below. So that is Nude by Victoria's Secret. Okay, then I have Baby Lips Lip Balm. These are amazing. I love these. And this one is in Pink Punch. I love these. They're nice just to throw on. So that's that one right there right there. And it smells so good. I love the baby lips from Maybelline. Oh, look what we have. We have another Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain. And this one is in a 10 Darling. So this is going to go next to the baby lips. So this is right there. You guys, it is so crappy outside. Blech. It dropped about 10, 15 degrees. It's windy and cloudy and I hate it. Uh, this is a Sephora lipstick that I got uh, at Sephora <laughs> when we were in Vegas and it was on sale. It is Lip Attitude Glamour is the color G04. And as you can see, I've worn this one quite a bit. I think it just kind of got lost in the bottom of my bag there. And I love these lipsticks. This was on sale for maybe $5. And that is that one right there. As is true with most of us, I think that we gravitate towards the same basic colors because they look good on us. And if you are anything like me, you've got 10 million more lipsticks than you need. And that is just a slight exaggeration. All right, here is another um, lip butter by Revlon. Oh, maybe that's the only one that's been out here. And this is 095 Creme Brulee. This is not one of my favorites, I have to say. These colors are not the best on me. I mean, it's, it's fine, but it certainly is not one of the better colors for my skin. It just kind of washes me out. It's right there. I have a hard time pulling off the nudes. Um, I think they just really wash me out. Is there anything else in here? Oh, and here's my wallet. It's a Brighton wallet that I purchased at the Go Red event that they have here every year and people donate um, items and services for a silent auction. And I bought that I don't know, two, three years ago probably. And I've pretty much been using it ever since. And that's it for my lip products. I didn't have too many this time. So, but I did want to um, mention again the Garnier Skin Renew Anti-Dark Circle Rollerball. This is really nice. Really happy that I have this. I just keep it in my purse. And so at the end of the day, if I need a little touch up under the old eyes, um, it brightens and um, covers the discolorations. So these are my products that I have in my purse, my lip products. So that's it in a nutshell. I purchased two new lipsticks because I'm crazy. Um, this one, they are CoverGirl. Oh man, they do not make this packaging for old people. CoverGirl, some kind of a lipstick. I don't know. But those are the names and the numbers. Here's the packaging. I like the packaging, it's pretty. It's 
pretty. So this one is um, 265 Romance, and I have these layered on right now. Um, I, I really like the colors. I think they're a little frostier than I like, or pearlier than I like. So we will give this one a go. I'll swatch this one. And 280, 265 Romance is right there. It's a pretty color. Like I say, Anna, it's a little, you see, it really didn't look that frosty on my hand because there was one that was opened and it was all smushed up, so I felt free to go ahead and swatch it. This one was sealed, so no swatching of this color, but um, I thought I'd like it. 395 Darling, right there. So one is more of a mauve tone, um, and one is more pink, and I think they're both very pretty, but I don't know, do they look too frosty? And still working on the hair problem. All right, my lip products. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I'm going to do an update on my hair and my wigs and all that nonsense. I'm still having a hard time with uh, wigs itching, so we'll see. But I have to run out. I have to go to Ideal Protein. I want to get a couple boxes of the salty snacky things because I'm out and sometimes at night I crave a salty snack and I'd rather eat one of those than chips. I'm doing really well with my weight. My weight's real stable within about three pounds and so, and I'm going to talk to Stephanie too about, you know, I just can't stay on one topic, can I? I'm going to talk to her about my hair loss and see if they're finding um, that it's a byproduct of being on the diet. And I don't think it's, you know, I think that your protein intake is um, sufficiently covered and protected. I. But Corey, one of my friends, she's a hairstylist, and she pointed out yesterday, she said, but you know, Joan, any time you put your body through a stressor, like an illness or a big dietary change or, you know, whatever, hair loss can be a result of that. And I said, yeah, you know, I hadn't thought about it that way. You know, I was in ketosis for about four months, so maybe that's enough to uh, give me the reaction of where... I um, shed some extra hair and I am using, I just started yesterday, the Rogaine, the men's extra strength twice a day. Thank you to the subscriber who suggested that and we'll just see how that goes. I'm taking my vitamins and, you know, of course eating regular food. So hopefully my hair will thicken up a little bit and, um, my quest for the perfect hair solution continues. So stay tuned. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.